everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all okay and enjoying the glorious, uh, not so glorious weather we are having at the moment. We kind of had that spell of really, really lovely weather and then we got smacked in the face with freezing cold weather. It is milder now. We've had an awful lot of rain today, an awful lot, so I don't know if you've had any near you. But uh, yeah, it's feeling very, very kind of cold and wintry. And yeah, I, I think looking back now, one of the reasons why maybe I put off decorating for autumn, obviously I was very disorganized and reliant upon my husband going up in the loft. But I also feel that we were having glorious weather and it just didn't feel right. So yeah, anyway. Let's get on with this video. I am bringing you a bit of a mixture today. So I've got Sostring Green, which is a shop I absolutely love. Um, I can't remember how many months ago now, but they opened one in Cheltenham. Before that, I think it was Manchester. I love the shop. So I've got a few bits in there. And then I've got a few other bits that I have purchased along the way that isn't quite enough to do a full haul. So I think I've got H&M, home bargains and pangland but we'll start off with sustrine green first i mean can we just take a minute i am so sad but i actually love the paper bags i think they are gorgeous very kind of like rustic and old school but yeah i love them so the first thing i picked up is an actual item for my uh, daughter's bedroom I saw this and I absolutely loved it. It was £4.24 and it's like this old school. I don't know if you can remember these, but when I was younger, these were like the rage everywhere. Everyone had them. And yeah, it's just a paper light shade. It's one of the ones where it's got the metal that you push up through the middle and it stretches it out. This is quite large. Um, just plain white and I think this will go really nice in her bedroom and yeah £4.24 bit of a bargain I think and looks really good quality uh, what about next okay I picked this up to use in the future for any kind of baking videos that I'm going to do. I would actually really like to do some baking videos. I love baking. It's a piping bag with a selection of noddle, nozzles, noddles, nozzles. <laughs> what is a noddle? <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, I worry about myself sometimes. I did think this was a little bit on the expensive side, but it's a whole kit and it comes with different nozzles not noddles and this was seven pounds and seven pence it's such random prices in there seven pounds and seven pence like why um so yeah piping bag with a selection of nozzles <laughs> i think noddles is gonna haunt me for quite a while so yeah i thought i could use this in a baking video to come up it's got everything you need and yeah seven pounds and seven pence nice random number i picked these up love these now these are embossers for clay i'm not planning on using them for that i thought these would be fantastic for if you were making maybe i don't know an apple pie christmas biscuits so yeah it's just these wooden like stamps two pounds and 46 pence we're still running with the random prices and it's got a snowman and a Christmas tree and I don't know if you can see it slightly sticks out so I thought this would be really really lovely for a little Christmas cookie and just have that kind of imprint in in it yeah two pounds and 46 pence and I love that and it just shows that you might see something in a shop that's designed for another purpose this is for clay doesn't mean you've got to use it for that so yeah love those and then i picked up a few other crafty bits i've got quite a few bits of this but in different colors this is one pound and 14 pence um and yeah it's this it's 
it's like twine but it's got metal in it so it's bendable and you can maneuver it into places i have got this in kind of like a brownish twine color and i thought i would get the green honestly i can't tell you how much this comes in handy i've just put up a few decorations on the outside of the house and um i used this not this one but the brown one to basically wrap around the posts outside to keep it up it's just you can use it for so many different things so yeah one pound and 14 pence which i think is a really really good price and then I bought some of this, it's like a, a thickish cotton, £1.34. And, and I don't know if I'm going to get around to making these. I would like to think that I would. But I would like to make some cinnamon buns, but make them into pumpkin shapes. So yeah, I might try and get the ingredients for that on the weekend and then do that. But apparently you have to use 100% cotton otherwise it can set fire um and that's the last thing i want so yeah it does say on the back 100 percent cotton 50 meters and you can see it's like a thickish cotton so yeah i will try and film that and then i picked up one of these baskets now i do have one of these myself but i picked this up for my daughter two pounds and 24 pence i just think it's a really really lovely little basket just put i don't know anything in keys in your entrance way this could be for jewelry bits um you could style it up and put a church candle in there yeah there are so many things that you can do with this and i really really like the size so yeah got that and then the next items i've got three items they're all food items they do sell really 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 lovely foods in there and particularly jams their jams are to vine so I got these, these are called long chips and it's a potato snack flavour with sour cream and dill. What does it say? I don't think it says how much. Let me have a look. Long chips, they're £1.63 pence each. And yeah, I got sour cream and dill. And then I also got sea salt. So I thought I'd give those a go. I've seen them in there quite a few times but never thought to actually give them a try. And then I bought these. These are just little crackers, but rosemary flavor. And I would say rosemary, apart from rosemary, maybe sea salt and garlic, rosemary is one of my favorite flavors for a cracker. I just love it. So I've got these 200 grams and how much were they were two pound 38 so yeah i thought i'd give them a go i love all the packaging as well how lush is that packaging so yeah that's what i picked up from sausage and green like i said absolutely love the shop it's one of those shops though that you go in and everything well not everything there are some things that are more expensive than others but some things are really 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 cheap and you kind of go along put lots in your basket and then before you know it you've spent like 30 quid it's that kind of shop but it's really 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 lovely things so yeah okay i picked myself up a jumper from no not a jumper sorry a cardigan from h&m i don't really have that many long line cardigans. I've got this one, which you probably see in quite a lot of videos. I live in this cardigan. This is actually from a charity shop, originally from New Look. And yeah, I really, really like it. It is going a little bit kind of threadbare, but I really like it. But I do have quite a lot of kind of neutral tone clothing. And then I just find that necessarily the gray doesn't always go with them. So I saw this cardigan, they did have like a beigey color and then they had this and I decided to go for this. This is 52% recycled polyester. Oh no, it does contain 4% wool actually, but I did try this on in the shop and I didn't find it was itchy and I'd probably wear this with longer sleeves, to be honest with you. But yeah, it's just this really lovely long line cardigan, no buttons. It feels incredibly soft and it's this gorgeous kind of like brownie colour. But yeah, really, really, really like that. And this was 18 
I can't say I've bought much from H&M in quite a long time, actually. I have got quite a lot of drum, drumpers, jumpers in my wardrobe. And yeah, I'm trying not to really kind of like buy lots of the same at the moment. But like I said, I don't have that many long line cardigans. I have got one from, I think this is how you pronounce it, Uniqlo. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have got one from there, but it's more of like a cardigan slash sort of smart looking overcoat. I was going to say jacket, but I wouldn't really describe it as a jacket. Yeah, I suppose like, I don't know. It is a cardigan, but it's really smart and I would wear it as kind of like a coat but it's not as thick as a coat. So yeah, don't really own that many long cardigans. So, and I have been looking for weeks and weeks and weeks for a cardigan that I have loved. I've gone around loads of charity shops. Um, I've looked on Vinted and yeah, I've not really seen anything that I, has caught my attention enough to buy it anyway. And I saw that, loved it. Okay, moving on now. I think I've got two items from Poundland. Was this Poundland? No, it wasn't. It was the one below, I think, which if I'm correct, is part of Pound Stretcher, I think. But yeah, I saw these in there and I just thought they were so, so cute. And you could do so much with these. It's a set of eight wooden cut out pumpkin bunting. And yeah, it's just the outline of a pumpkin. But honestly, you could use this for anything. You could actually take them off the string and you could glue these onto the lid of a jar you could i don't know make yourself some kind of canvas or um like i don't know you could do anything with these you could make your own piece of artwork doesn't mean you've got to have it as bunting which to be honest i probably won't but yeah i really 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 love these should i take them out And you could even paint these. It'd be a bit of a faff. Um, but obviously, if you're only using one or two, you can quite easily paint these. And I've just noticed on the reverse, it's plain. So you could even turn them around and stick them so they're not quite as garish as the orange. But yeah, that was like a pound. I just thought it was a bargain, an absolute bargain for that. And then I know this is really, really, really early, but... It's a Christmas item. I I would say that I like to be fairly organized with things like wrapping paper, gift tags, tissue paper, things like that. When I see it, I tend to buy it because I think if you leave it too late, you go to the shops and you get what's left over that necessarily people, that people haven't necessarily wanted. So you get everyone's leftovers. So I saw these, these were only a pound, a pack of 60. How they make them for this price, I don't know. But it's just these really plain gift tags with a snowflake that you could probably punch out, as in push out if you wanted to, or leave it as it is. Just plain jute string. To me, that's just like an ideal gift tag. I don't like loads of fuss. I love things to look kind of like natural. So a pack of 60 for a pound. I saw them and I was like, they are going in my basket. Okay, I've got a few items now from Home Bargains. And the receipt isn't in the bag, I'm afraid. But, oh God, I'm getting pins and needles again. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to move around and pull up the old trousers. Yeah, I don't actually have the prices, but we all know home bargains. It's always a fraction of the price. I think all of these Burt's Bee things were under two pounds. So I got two of these. They are Advanced Relief and it's got cooling eucalyptus in them. And I'm sure these were like 178 or 1 
90 something so i did get two of those my husband and my son go through lip balm like there's no tomorrow and yeah burt's bees is a lovely brand and a fraction of the price i think they retailed for just under five pounds and then i bought this which i'm a little bit unsure of what it is I read it and I'm kind of thinking this is a little bit like Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. It's a rescue ointment, multi-occasion soothing and moisturising skincare. And it kind of says that you can put this anywhere really. It gives gently leave skin softened, moisturised and comfortable. Apply a thin layer to skin as needed. So yeah, I kind of feel that this is a little bit like Elizabeth Arden's 8-Hour Cream and it's almost like a treatment sort of ointment. But if it's anything like Elizabeth Arden's 8-Hour Cream, you can use this everywhere. So not just lips, anywhere that's kind of dry. So yeah, I really liked that and I've never seen that anywhere before. So and I think the RRP was probably around about five pounds for that as well. And then I picked this up. Now I did pick up one of these the other day in a different scent and I decanted it into my soap holder. And the one that I picked up in my store was just dumped on a shelf. There were no more, there were no prices. Anyway, I went into another Home Bargains and this, I think it's, it's under two pounds and apparently retails for like 15 pounds. So you have to let me know if you've heard of this brand because I haven't. Um, I think I prefer the other scent I had, which I think was bergamot and something. This one is cashmere and white musk and it's a moisturizing hand wash infused with essential oils and yeah, apparently this retails for 15 pounds so stock up <laughs> that's what i say stock up because um yeah i think a good hand wash is fairly important i like my hands to feel moisturized and i also like my hands to smell scented afterwards so yeah apparently 15 pounds but let me know and then the last thing I've got to show you is just one item I picked up from Primark. I returned loads of items and I found these. Now, recently I've got into Crocs. I did own a pair of Crocs years and years and years ago. They were like a bluish color and yeah. And then they kind of like went out of fashion. I kind of use them just for the garden. And now they have come back with a vengeance and yeah i bought a pair when i was away and to say that if i could live in them i would i wear them out we don't normally well we don't wear shoes in our house but i get in and they're so comfortable like slippers sometimes i actually forget to take them off and now i kind of feel like i need a pair for around the house maybe like those fleecy ones i'm obsessed so yeah, I've got into some chunky socks, my Crocs and like my leggings or I've got a pair of jeans on today and I just love it. It's just comfort and I just think in the job I'm in, obviously my job can be very challenging at times and if you feel happy and comfortable in yourself, I think that makes a real difference. I've had a pair of jeans on today. They are the ones that I bought from Poundland a few videos ago and don't get me wrong they are lovely they've got like this waistband so no zip or anything but I picked up I think a size I think a size 12 and the late one well, actually I had in my hand a 14 and a 12 and I was gonna buy both and the lady at the till said oh they come up really big so I went with the 12 and put away the 14 because normally in bottoms I'm 14 or a 16 and I really wish I had gone for the 10 because these constantly keep needing pulling up and 
it's nice to have a different look with the jeans rather than just my leggings all the time but it has driven me potty today and yeah so going back to the crocs i do think it's just nice to have something on which feels really 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 comfortable so that was a bit of a long-winded way by saying that i bought some cozy socks um i have got a selection of socks that i bought recently from primark but they're on the thinner side so i picked up these a pack of two these are so so soft and one is brown and then the other one is like a browny whitey color and yeah they're designed that you can roll them down really gorgeous autumnal colors rich brown and these were four pounds the softness of these are just divine so yeah very much into feeling comfortable at the moment but i am fully aware that every single winter and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with it i just think that for me i feel like i make loads more effort in summer with dresses and things and then winter i tend to live in my sports leggings and sweatshirts or long line jumpers and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that i love it but sometimes i just get a bit sick of it and day to day absolutely fine but on a weekend when maybe i'm out with my husband or i'm meeting a friend or whatever i'm doing sometimes it's just nice to feel like i'm dressing a little bit smarter not that again leggings and a nice jumper isn't smart but i think because i wear it five days a week um I just feel like I want to make the effort occasionally and I met a friend today hence why I got the jeans on but they have driven me insane but if you would have seen my last video I bought a pair of leather look leggings from Matalan oh my gosh honestly I can't stress they are just the luscious thing I've put on my body apart from my black leggings I did size down to a size 12, I think. Yeah, 12. Because the 14 did fit, but then there was like gaping. So I, I sized down to a size 12. I feel like they hold me in, which for me, around my stomach area is really important. I've got separated stomach muscles and my belly is the one place that I suppose I hold a little bit more weight. And um, because I haven't got the stomach muscles to hold it in place, it's a bit of a jelly belly. Um, so for me to feel confident, I like to have it kind of like sucked in. And yeah, these leggings do that. and. I love them. So we are going out tomorrow to um, have a look at some cars. We are thinking about changing my car at the moment. And we're also thinking about going electric possibly. So yeah, I think I'll dress up smarter tomorrow and put on my leather look leggings. I do want an SUV for me. Um, I very much not want an SUV. I feel I need an SUV. I really struggled getting into lower cars. And for me, getting into an SUV higher up, it's just way better for me, whatever I get. And to be honest with you, the higher up, the better. And especially in the job I'm in now, I'm in, out, in, out the car. So it is really important my son and my husband share a mini and oh my gosh like they look lush but getting in that of a mini i i look like a, a really old old woman so yeah we're not making any rash decisions we're just going to go and have a look tomorrow and obviously we've been offered to have an electric glc overnight which would be quite nice um i've only taken one electric car for test drive which was a tesla and that was only for i don't know 15 minutes so it'd be nice to get a feel for an electric car but yeah that was a very 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 long tangent that i've just gone on um i will try and film some things tomorrow and upload that possibly in my next video 
so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video um a haul with a few different things in but like i said i've bought a few bits from a few different places and there's not enough to do a haul on each place so i thought i'd combine it together and just give you a little bit of an update really of what's what's going on i kind of give these updates like home and little things we're doing and I, I sometimes think to myself do you actually find that interesting but I know when I watch youtubers I do find it interesting so let me know in the comments whether you do find little updates and things that I'm doing in my life interesting because if you don't then I won't include it but yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you aren't already subscribed, there is a little sub button. I would love for you to stick around and also give this a big thumbs up. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye.